my brothers my sisters understand the nature of the social media it can make you or break you i'm not saying that there are no successful marriages of people who have met online no there are some websites that do assist in this regard and although there was great animosity at the beginning regarding embracing these websites the scholars are slowly with lots of restrictions assisting in this regard because it's become as difficult as it is to marry the right person the the the, the choices have really expanded and at the same time we have technology that can help us achieve something. But remember, there are crooks as well on the other side. There are foxes. There are cheats on the other side. There are vampires on the other side as well. Could be. This is why I always say, when someone sends you a friend request, be careful. Vet them. You know what? I'm very sad to say something that has now happened. There was a time when every person is considered innocent until proven guilty. Right or wrong? Today, we would still believe the same because the law cannot change. Although some countries might look at it another way and they're slowly trying to change their law, uh, maybe not written, but the law is beginning to become everyone is guilty besides those whom we think are not. However, when it comes to us, we still believe everyone is innocent until proven guilty. When it comes to social media, for your sanity, for your goodness, be skeptical of every single person that wants to develop a relationship with you. Be skeptical does not mean they are guilty. It means watch out. Anything could happen. There are people who are abusing it. So many people collect money using the names of scholars and using the names of others and they have nothing to do with it in reality. The person himself has nothing to do with it. So it's quite easy to make a page using a name of someone else and then pretend to befriend others and pretend to say, you know what, we have this cause and that cause and we are collecting money. To be honest, it's up to you to verify. If you didn't, it's your fault. Same applies marriage. And this is why lots of marriages are breaking because when you end up living with the person, three days is more than enough to figure them out. Three days. You, you already start feeling uneasy. Oh, I thought this person was really good. Look at this. Three days and you're already fed up and you got to lead a whole life with them. This is why when you're getting married, tell yourself a hundred times, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this person. Am I really sure about it? Tell yourself, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with this person. Am I really sure about it? We are human beings. We are not chameleons who can change every day. One day this wife, another day that wife. People are becoming fed up of themselves. So what they do, they start swinging. I don't know if you've heard this. It's happening in some nations at the moment where people go to a party and they swap wives because they're fed up. Guess what happens? Shaitan penetrates the home and Shaitan comes and affects the person. A dirty person is whom Shaitan attacks. Then this person starts seeing things. Then they start hearing things. Then they become literally enslaved by the devil because the jinn is around everywhere they are they are affected by the jinn and they don't even know and sometimes it becomes clear to them those who have made tawbah and turned to allah have come out and confessed that this is the type of life we've led